good enough. So I had all these boards because I was gonna build a fence in the backyard and we were gonna build like a retaining wall around the flower bed that's around Sweet Oak Hollow. <sighs> There's a bunch of stuff coming up and I just don't know what plans I have for my yard. So it's making a lot of these decisions for future plans a little bit complicated. Like the drainage system expanding into the next 10,000 square feet. Anyway, it's just getting a little complicated because I don't know exactly what the plan is. So for now, it's a workbench. I know that the next thing I need to get is a, a work light or some kind of light to be able to shine on this thing so I can see, especially because if I'm wanting to work in here after dark, I'm not gonna have enough light. It's already pretty dim. Oh, how did I get this up here by myself, you're asking? Don't worry about it. So I am getting in way over my head. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm gonna tear this thing apart and do a little uh, restoration project. We'll see if it, if it turns out at all. I've been looking at way too many of those Scott Bonner restorations uh, on that Facebook and Instagram. If you don't know what that is, you need to go check that out. There are some amazing, so Scott Bonner is a brand of uh, real mower that they have over in Australia. And there's, I don't know if it's just Glenn or if these are people who are redoing their own. I honestly don't know all that much about it, but I think it's a little bit of like everything. He's doing a lot of these, but then people are sitting in pictures of their restorations and some of them look sweet. So I've got the, the itch and uh, obviously not a whole lot to do this winter. <laughs> Here goes nothing. So I guess let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what I'm working on right now is getting this core disconnected. I need to take all these off, but I can just disconnect these pretty easily. This one is attached to what looks like a brake. I think it's the brake because there it goes up to that side where I'm, I don't know if that says brake or not, but I don't even have the lever for the brake. So I just need to take this cord off altogether anyway. But now I'm actually going to take this, this brake off. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to wash your hands before playing with the gingerbread house? That's true. Yeah. Got we're gonna be, it. We're gonna be cutting through. Yeah. So my options are either to get this tiny little nut off right here, so I can take this cable out, or there's this bracket right here that just that looks like it's the only function is to hold that cable, so I can just take that off, and that seems easier than getting to that tiny little nut. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ta -da! I wanted to put that back on because this is what holds this plastic piece and I want to do something something kind of cool with that front plate too. Hey Nick. <laughs> yep. Taking it. 
taking it apart. Well, not fix. Well, I am gonna fix it after I take it all apart. But right now, I'm doing the opposite of fixing it. I'm tearing it down. I'm gonna repaint it. What color should I paint it? I'm not gold. You know, red. Red? It's already red. So what? Oh, I guess green. Green? Maybe like a John Deere, huh? I don't know, man. I'm thinking maybe, maybe yellow. Well, maybe yellow, yellow, or maybe bright orange or like blue or something. Cause there's not not very many mowers that are those colors. At least not real mowers. There's a lot of green ones and a lot of red ones. The yellow ones. Yeah, there are some yellow ones. I actually saw a really cool Club Cadet one at GIE this year that was yellow. What do you think about being called a Neft tool? Do you like it? Yeah? It's cool? Sweet. What are you doing? I'm going to take this baby apart. You want to clean it? Clean it and repaint it. You're gonna, repainting it? Yeah, all the parts that are red down here, I'm going to repaint. What color should I paint it? Green. Green? Yeah. Like a John Deere? Because John Deere makes mowers like this, and so I don't want it to look like one of their mowers. Well, dash, burn it. Why in the world would they make a bolt too long that it can't even come out? That is just silly, Zachariah. You have to take, have to take something else out. Uh, I bet you have to take like this. If I don't want, if I don't have to take it all the way, then I'd rather not. What is this? A Kawasaki? It's got a Kawasaki engine. But it's a Toro. Kawasaki's the brand of them. green. What'd you say, Kawasaki's green? I have a Kawasaki. Yeah, I could paint it Kawasaki green, huh? Like oh. a lime green? Yeah. Be kind of cool. Wait, no, maybe like a lighter green. Or maybe that color. Oh, that'd be sweet. If they made that volt, <laughs> volt yellow, <laughs> like my shoes. The only problem is, this might be almost impossible to get back in if I get it out. Hang on. If I can get it out, I might not be able to get it back in. That's what I'm kind of worried I think about. you have to take the engine off. Well, I'm sure that would help, but if I don't have to, well, I'm gonna take the engine off, but this is all like attached to the, I'm not gonna take the engine completely apart if I don't have well, to. Well, you can just maybe take the engine off and then take that off. But I, right, it's a lot of work for one little bolt that I could probably get this thing off some different way. You can get Got it, Zach. You did? I don't know, if it, it won't get back in? don't know if it was the best way, but I got it. Hey, maybe you should get, um, um, go to like a body shop or something, have them paint you the lawn form on the side. I should paint the, the lawn? No. What about the lawn tools? The lawn tools on oh, the side. Oh, lawn tools. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, the lawn form would be cool too. Don't <laughs> get me wrong, John. <laughs> Let's just get that stuck in. It's stuck over. There we go. Got it. All right, so check it. Now I've got two completely separate pieces. Okay, so the Greens Master 1000 is laid up in the garage with not even a handlebar attached to it right now. And I went and asked Little Tool if he wanted to come with me and he said no, but uh, somebody else was pretty happy about that, huh? Baby Tool, you excited to get on the mower? It's been a little while. Yeah. So normally I can just get the Greens Master 1000 over this little creek pretty easily. I still have this drainage problem. I've got this marsh running all the way around my lawn. It stays here. I think there were about two weeks maybe uh, at the end of the summer where it was dry enough that I could have done a French drain and I missed my opportunity, which kind of sucks. So I, I, but I'm actually not sure if that's what I'm going to do anyway. Um, I'm not, I, I'm thinking about maybe leaving it and building a bridge over it, building a bridge over on, on one side over here where I'm going across now, and then also building a bridge up by the path, um, wide enough that I could get mowers over it, so that when it is wet and marshy, I can still mow or get the mower across there. Um, man, I'm so torn, I don't know. I could still put in a French drain, like I said, I could leave it, I could define the trench a little bit more, and then make a bridge over it. I am, uh, I'm just like spinning my wheels trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with this, but I'll figure it out at some point. Um, my wife suggested, actually, we saw somewhere we were yesterday, and we saw some, like, trench with water in it that have, had, had river rock, and she suggested maybe putting river rock all the way around it, and I was like, yeah, that could look kind of nice, too, 
So I still have to put a bridge over that so I can get mowers back and forth across it to the other uh, other section over here into Sweet Oak Hollow. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So for now, <laughs> this will have to work. So there's a couple different reasons why I wanted to get out here and mow, even though the Greensmaster 1000 is uh, not in working shape. It's because, well, first reason is because Little Tool and Baby Tools, Grandy and Papa are coming into town on Christmas Eve, and Papa's a big golfer, and I knew that he'd want to get out here and golf uh, with Little Tool quite a bit while they're here. So I wanted to have it in good shape, at least as good as possible, even though it wasn't completely ideal for the Greensmaster 3100 um, to get out and mow, especially the green. It's just too, it's really tiny to be mowing with the triplex, but uh, that's okay. It was kind of fun. It's also good for the, the machine to just get out and run too. It's been a while. It's been kind of cooped up. It's got some squeaky spots. I need to grease it up and uh, and probably do a little bit of maintenance on that this winter too. So it's, it's good to get out and run it a little bit. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I wanted to make sure and wish you Merry Christmas from the Lawn Tools. Have a good one. Welcome to LT Turf. Welcome to LT Turf. This is LT Turf. Welcome back to the LT Turf. Welcome to LT Turf. Welcome to LT Turf.